Alrighty, everybody. Hello, what is up? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, we are checking out the Samora rework. I'm actually re-recording this because I wasn't super happy with uh, some of the videos recorded on stream today. Got a crazy old composition, but that is okay. And uh, yeah, we're gonna see how it uh, how it goes. Um, Samora got a lot of changes, very significant changes, which are aiming to cut down his split pushing without nerfing his. Uh, his team fighting, so we'll see what we can make happen. The biggest change you're going to see, I'll cover the talents in a little bit, is that his mirror images has a shorter cooldown now. It's only 14 seconds. However, if I just pop those images, they now only last for 8 seconds. However, whenever they critically strike, or when I critically strike a hero, you can see their duration goes back up. So it's going to be, again, much weaker. They used to last 18 seconds just by default going around the map. Now they only last eight, but I can keep increasing that if, if I hit enemy, uh, enemy heroes. So that's what we're going to be playing around. Okay. We've got some dead people already. Not going so hot. Again, bear in mind, so long as the enemy team pushes the wave in, you're pretty good to let people soak someone aggressive. You know what? Actually, I'll go do the camp. We'll let him do whatever he wants. Okay, cool. Another change is that you now heal by default. With level 1, you heal for 1% of your max HP per second. It's not a lot. Maximum you can heal is 10%. But you know what? It's not a lot, but it's something. It's better than nothing. You can see mirror uh, transi uh, image transition. Transition. That's a hard word to say, and I don't know why. It shouldn't be. Now also has a shorter cooldown. It's now a 14 second cooldown, it used to be 25, so you're able to swap your images more frequently, which is nice. You can see, certainly taking camps, for example, uh, obviously this is a siege camp, so it's very easy to take uh, the siege shines. But for example, whereas I might have been able to do this before, it's no longer really an option, I'm afraid. That hurt. Okay. Got death up in top lane, maybe? Hmm. Not going so hot so far this game. Oh, we've got another death. Okay, well, I don't think we're probably going to win this one. It's not looking to... Oh, my lord. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. Okay. Well, it's going to be tough. It's going to be tough to say a bluntly team. We're going to get Mirage. I think we're going to need it this game. They've got quite a lot of bursty damage. It's pretty bad news. Uh, at least ETC is not died yet. That's good. That's a start. Step one. Heroes. Good step one. And earn my okay, cool. I need to get up top lane to soak, so I'm going to do that. Good kill, ETC. Nice one. All right, cool. Way of the Blade did get a little change here. And this is the build for we're basically taking the change talents, okay? So don't worry about that. We're, take, we're taking those and we're seeing how they go. Wave the blade. So crits are now... Uh, oh, every third strike. Oops. Well, that's half my health gone. Every third strike. So that's the same as before. However, now, whenever I or my image crits a hero, we reduce their physical armor by 5 for 2.25 seconds. This stacks up to 3 times, up to minus 15 physical armor. Which I think is kind of nice, actually. Uh, and we're going to combo that with uh, level 7. We're going to try crushing blows, which we're coming up to momentarily here. Momentarily here, which will give me cooldown reduction 2 seconds. Reduce cooldown on um, on our crit whenever we basic attack a hero. So we do it more often. And our crits are against heroes are going to improve our basic attack damage by 15% for 4 seconds. Stacking 3 times up to 45% bonus crit damage, which I think is quite nice. I think it's quite spicy. Oh. He didn't actually know which one of us was real, and I died to it. <laughs> I got hit by it. I thought he knew that I was not that one. But no, he, <laughs> he hit the image, the clone, that, and I swapped to the clone, assuming that he would not hit it. That's actually kind of hilarious. Uh, our team is doing great, though, on tribute side. The enemy team, despite getting multiple kills early on in the game, seems to have sort of forgotten that that's a thing. 
Almost, almost. Anyway, we don't really mind that our images are in a rough spot. They're gonna kill them, no big deal. I'll go back soak top lane. We now have an XP advantage, it's all happening. Phantom Pain did get slightly nerfed. Uh, it used to give you 45% bonus damage per image active. It now gives you 35%, so less. You'll be up to 70% uh, as opposed to up to 90% if you have two images alive. So it is pretty substantial in terms of your one-shotting potential. Uh, what's happening here is that every time I attack move... Oh. Oh no, I finished this quest for him. That's rather unlucky. Okay, well, that's fine. We'll just have to deal with it. We'll live with our mistakes. Live and learn. Uh, good for Seratil to do that. I should probably stay here. You missed. Chase him down, images. We're gonna go pick up these orbs. These globes, I mean. These experience globes. Can I get in on this? I don't know. He's certainly trying. Give him that. Poor Oriel, almost dead there. She's definitely not happy with that, let me tell you. No. Got him, boys. Yeah, now we're gonna go down. That's okay. It is a nice split push down bottom, so we don't feel too bad about losing that. We get some value out of it. ETC slowing them down even more. That split push is actually gonna get some damage on the fort, which is pretty good. Okay, cool. But yeah, so this is all about, again, resetting that crit. It's gonna take a lot to get used to this new sort of Samuro playstyle. One of the biggest changes you're going to see. I mean, and bear in mind, Phantom Pain is also kind of nerfed because your your images aren't necessarily alive for quite as long. Level 10 then, Blade Storm. Whereas before, before this was a 110 second cooldown. No, it's not a typo. Yes, you're reading it correctly. It's now a 25 second cooldown. We're gonna take it. Um, I'm not sure if this is good, but we're gonna take it anyway. We're gonna collect these globes, teleport forwards. You know what? We're going in with a big blade storm wave clear, boys. Let's go. We're doing it. Okay, enemy team is engaging. This could be scary. It's gonna work this down. Again, our images don't actually do much damage. Because, well, they're images. Team is doing fine. We're doing some more split push type things. You know, this wave is looking... It's a pretty healthy wave, huh? Be a shame if something was to, to blade storm it, huh? <laughs> So, we're kind of dead here anyway. We're not going to be fighting this objective. I'm just going to push this as hard as I can. They're probably going to come up and, and try kill me, so. Just going to walk away. Why can I not D? I'm, I'm literally pressing D. Can I not transfer to my image if the image is silenced? That's so silly if that's the case. Again, we're just going to wipe out this wave with Bladestorm. A whole new world, chat. It's a whole new world is what it is. <laughs> He's going to do a little bit of poke there. He got me, bummer. Again, our subsequent quits, or crits, quits? Our subsequent subsequent crits are building up uh, bonus now. Oh, hi. I'm gonna blink away from that. Don't want anything to do with that. Thanks very much. So images, you hit them. Cool. That makes a funny noise when he does it. I didn't realize it made that sound when Diablo did that. Images are just doing stuff. Let's come join our team. We might be able to make something happen. It's possible. Unlikely, but possible. Bladestorm in the team fight. It's actually terrible in team fights, by the way, guys. So, Bladestorm, it now lasts three seconds, as opposed to whereas before it used to last. I think they might not notice this objective, so I'm going to try sneak it. It used to last four seconds. It used to give you unstoppable. Now it does not. It does not. Uh oh. He's very dead. Ah! Wrecked, boys. You can see how much damage it does here. Not a whole lot. And also, no longer unstoppable. You can see that in action there. Need to watch out for the Alarak re-engage. We're fine.
sidestep that. Good, good, good. Alright, cool. Where is this guy? He's over here. Let's try hunt him down. But yeah, so it's very short cooldown. You can see it's back up again. Nah, damn it. Couldn't get him. Maybe. Maybe. Yep, we got him. Woo! That's some damage right there, though. Can I Shikuchi over the wall? Oh, I can. Good to know. I wasn't sure if I could, actually. We got Deckard here as well. You know what? Leave our images to be kind of jerks over there. Let them do their thing. We're doing boss. I'm going to go assist with the boss. And just sort of chop it down. But yeah, we're all about these basic attacks in the team fight. Blade Storm, it does less damage now. I'm being because you're not unstoppable. You can be stunned. You can be silenced. You can be anything knocked out of it. It's it's a bit rough, to be honest. There's so many ways to stop you getting value from this ability now. We're gonna get press the attack when we attack people. With our advancing strikes. You get cooldown reduction. I think it's gonna be quite nice here. potentially get a lot of attack speed. You can see that single target damage is almost non-existent, guys. Oh, I got the silence. Oops. Was not able to activate my Q. Team will take him down, though, however. Good job, boys. The boss goes through the keep. Uh, we can just back off and secure the map. But yeah, so this is like a new sort of build. Uh, basic attacks in Moro build is the idea here of going okay we crit more often our crits reduce armor cool all right then uh our basic attacks are going to reduce the cool end of crits so we can we can crit more often and our crits are improving our attack damage and now we're also increasing our attack speed now one thing that's a bit of a concern is blade storm funny enough i actually feel like it's more of a pve ability now an illusion master has become the team fighting uh, the team fighting thing. Being able to flip with your images every 8 seconds. And also uh, being able to actually move your images around. Gives you a lot of flexibility to make, I think, more team fight plays. Uh, that was a really good teleport over that wall. I'm talented. Oh shit, team is in trouble. Can they get it, boys? You know what, they're just going to win the game without me actually paying attention. It's all good. It's all good. No big deal. The big blade storm, it does nothing. Nice, thank you very much. Appreciate it. I mean, when we get on top of a hero, we will do a lot of damage if we can build up our attack speed. The downside here, obviously, is that, well, it's, you know, it's not necessarily easy to build up your attack speed. And one downside, one anti-synergy here as well is, well, with this build that I've designed, um, we kind of want to be, well, you know, basic attacking and critting lots. However, that's not what you do when you blade storm, because you're, well, spinning around like a maniac and not actually attacking anything, so. But, uh, you can see the damage potential right there. It's pretty good, right? You can, like, jump on top of somebody, nuke them a fair bit, and then teleport back out your image. Blade Storm again, in that circumstance, it's now relatively useless. But, I mean, well, it's there, I guess. It's there. It's great for wave clear. That's all I've got to really say about it. Like, you absolutely smash the waves, which is fun. Is it useful, though? Not sure. Not sure. Well, enemy team has got a lot of split push pressure going on them. Got no image to actually transmit to here, which is something of a problem. Oh god. That was definitely close. But you can see how short the cooldown of this Blade Storm is. It's crazy. It's already back again. Wonderful, right? Absolutely wonderful. 
He might try guillotine me. Nah, he's in mid lane. We're totally fine. Our top lane, excuse me. We're totally fine. But yeah, um, so now bear in mind one interesting thing, which is definitely worth considering, right, is that minion waves spawn every 30 seconds, I think, right? So, the blade storm, it's going to be up every time. Every time it's going to be up. We're going to go for Dance of Death. I think it's terrible, but we're going to go with it. What's this game mean? More movement speed, duration increased. That's probably better. We're going Dance of Death, though. My images use Bladestorm for 30% damage. If we hit at least 25 enemy heroes with Bladestorm, it resets the cooldown. I mean, unfortunately, there's only 5 enemy heroes, so we're screwed. No, of course, every hit of Bladestorm triggers it, but... Um, let's, let's see it in action, shall we? Ha <laughs> ha! I'm not even taking the- I'm not taking the piss, guys, when I'm actually using this for PvE. I actually think that's what it's good for. Look! It's back up again. It doesn't have a mana cost. The, the, I actually genuinely think that this is how you're supposed to play this. And yes, it is ridiculous. But is it really good? Probably not. But it is kind of hilarious, right? Let's go join this fun, fun fight. That was a Deckard ult, was it not? I think that's what makes that sound. I'm not actually fully familiar. Nice, dude. Okay, we need to be careful here. She can heal us. Good. Okay, we're good. We're good. We see what this can do. We need to find some enemy heroes, though. It's a problem. Uh, I don't have any stacks. Alright. Let's find a hero, jump on top of him, and see what we can make happen. Wait, what? I'm not sure what happened there. Ah, mama! Not even close. I was not scared for a second. Well, I, I guess I cancelled it or something by pressing it too with too much excitement. Sorry. I know I'm disappointed too, but well, still. You got to see us blade storming merc camps, which honestly is really good. Um, I don't think that the level 20 upgrade is actually good. The problem is that yes, it resets the cooldown of Bladestorm, but I don't know if that's actually that good of a thing, <laughs> right? I don't know if it's actually that good. Cause is Bladestorm actually that good? Is it actually, oh cool, we got a thing. Um, like if we look at this, you know, from the, compared to the old Bladestorm, think about it, was the old Bladestorm good or not? I don't know. And that did 47 like damage per tick compared to now it does 36. The old blade storm was doing like a third more damage than the current one. And it also lasted a second longer. And it gave you unstoppable. This one gives you 25 armor, which is it's kind of rough. It's kind of rough. Like you're so vulnerable. Any CC stuns, silences, anything like that can just mess you up completely. So the new Blade Storm, like I said, I feel it's good for PvE. I am concerned as to its use for, for PvP though. So again, I feel like we're in a weird situation where the Samoro scales have flipped. Whereas before, it was all about high skill cap, uh, Illusion Master, moving your images between multiple lanes and just soaking multiple lanes. And why did that playstyle originate? Well, because number one, Samoro could do it. And number two, he's just not a very good team fighting hero compared to, I don't know, let's say a Thrall or an Alarak, who are, you know, all other melee assassiny type characters. Um, I think with the new Illusion Master, though, it's, it's arguably even more of a skill cap, and you can talent into that. Uh, and again, even boost that skill cap even higher. But now it's about using that in the team fight, and you can still do some of the map stuff. And I think Illusion Master is still probably gonna be the way to go for doing that. Um, but yeah, it's no longer as good on the map. Whereas Blade Storm has done a one. Well, I guess Blade Storm was never really good. <laughs> you know, it's not like it was an amazing team fight ult. It was pretty terrible. Um, but now it's it's even worse in the team fight. It does lower damage, and you're completely vulnerable to CC. Um, but it's got a very low cooldown, and it absolutely nukes Merc Camps. It nukes Objectives. Think of Infernal Shrine, spinning on that. It nukes, uh, it nukes Minion Waves. So it's quite a weird one. Uh, for me, personally, I generally speaking like the 
the idea. I like where they're going with this. I don't think like the macro global play of Samura, while it was very cool, I don't think it's necessarily the best thing for the game because it's very obtuse and it requires a, a very particular knowledge of, of game mechanics and it's what Samuro actually individually does to make sense of it. Like we literally saw last week people flaming a Samuro for playing that. Uh, like master players. It's like what, what, uh, I don't even know. But personally, I would say Bladestorm. I'd be kind of happier if they made it like a 50 second cooldown. Keep it as a three second duration, but knock up the damage, make him unstoppable, and maybe even leave the 25 armor. You know, I'll, give me back unstoppable and give me a longer cooldown. And I, I'm fine with that. So yeah, I can use it for minion way. So it's a bit of a loss. But right now, my concern is that it just feels terrible in the team fight. It feels really bad. Like you just die and it has no synergy. In fact, it has anti-synergy with the rest of his kit. It has anti-synergy with the rest of his kit because you're not getting those basic attacks, boosting up your damage. With You're not getting those crits, lowering the armor, boosting your damage, building up attack speed, yada, yada. It's just... It's just kind of there. It's a really weird one that doesn't quite fit. So like I said, feel like it's the right track, but I'm not entirely convinced yet. Not entirely convinced. Let me know what you guys think though. And thank you as always for watching.